before Kevin Durant arrived in Golden State, y'all were on the verge of as the team that went 73 and 9 and lost to a Cleveland Cavalier team in the finals, 3 to 1. You up 3 to 1 and probably one of the the biggest collapse in NBA finals history. Kevin Durant comes that summer and really saves y'all basketball legacy. What of YouTube? It's your boy So Crazy TV back with another video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell for more videos. In this video, we're gonna be talking about the Hall of Famer, Isaiah Thomas. He has some words to say to Draymond Green on his podcast about Kevin Durant, Steph Curry, and those Warriors, man. We all know when Kevin Durant joined the Warriors and became a super team, it had the whole world going crazy. We're going to talk about it, man, because Isaiah Thomas dropped a bomb on Draymond Green. So we're going to talk about it. I appreciate y'all, and I love y'all, man. Peace and love. Let's get it. First off, let's keep it a buck. The Golden State Warriors were already a super team. Now, when they got Kevin Durant, that's when they became a super, super team. Now, the reason why they did this, man, because LeBron James figured him out, man. I've been saying this. What Isaiah Thomas is saying is not false. I'm seeing a lot of videos on YouTube saying the guy's lying. He's a Hall of Famer, man. He knows what he's talking about. All right. I ain't finna listen to no person that don't know what they talking about. Now, Kevin Durant, when he joined the Golden State Warriors, man, and beat LeBron James those two years, just imagine if Kevin Durant would have signed that extension in OKC. Just think about that. Because in 2016, the Cavaliers won, right? LeBron blocked, Kyrie stepped back, game seven, and they win, right? What happens the following year? Y'all let me know, man. And hear it from a Hall of Famer, Isaiah Thomas. He's going to drop a bomb on Draymond Green. Let's listen to this, and then we're going to come back and react to it. Let me make, let me make mm -hmm. a bold statement here. Yes, sir. And I, and I hope this don't upset you. But it, because it I'm, I'm, you all. I'm giving you a compliment. Before Kevin Durant arrived in Golden State, Golden State, y'all were on the verge of, and being and being remembered as the team that went 73 and 9 and lost to a Cleveland Cavalier team in the finals 3 to 1 you up 3 to 1 and probably one of the the biggest collapse in NBA finals history from a 73 and 9 historical team Kevin Durant comes that summer and really saves y'all basketball legacy. And you win two championships after that. And now you're the Golden State Warriors dynasty that you're going to go into the Hall of Fame on and everything else. It is cemented. Because if Durant don't come that summer and you guys are remembered as the 73 and 9 team that lost three to one in the NBA Finals. All of your legacies are different. So all of you with Kevin Durant, y'all are, you know, right? And that was, that was a powerful moment in sport that he should be rewarded for, but also your team should be rewarded for accepting a juggernaut like that and being able to incorporate it. And what y'all what y'all did was beautiful, man. It was beautiful. So I hope that didn't hurt you in any way, but I, I did want to acknowledge him and y'all for that beautiful moment. Yeah, no, it didn't hurt me at all. Shout out to Isaiah Thomas, man, for keeping it real. A lot of people hate KD for the move, going to the Warriors, you know, a team that beat him in the Western Conference Finals. But Yo, man, this dude keeping it real, man. He added KD to the legacy and told Draymond Green to his face, man, told him to his face that KD saved y'all. And that's true because I truly believe that LeBron figured him out. His teammates were rallying. 
Kyrie was playing the best basketball of his life. Bro, like I'm telling you, like who is a hypothetical, but let's just say he didn't go to the Celtics. I really feel like because at that time we didn't know he was going to the Celtics. Yo, you know what I'm saying? If they would have won in 2017, you never know. You never know that. But I truly believe that, man. And Isaiah Thomas just took the words out, man, because I've been saying this for a long time. I've been saying this at work. Wherever I was at, those times, 2016, 2017, 2018, I said it. If KD did not join the Warriors, LeBron would have them rings, man. And we probably wouldn't even be having Jordan versus LeBron. Because if LeBron gets the career points plus those two rings, you never know. But that's a hypothetical. But Isaiah Thomas, man, he knows what he's talking about. You know, he didn't throw shade at Draymond Green and the Warriors. He respected him, but he just told him straight up like, hey, y'all needed KD to elevate y'all legacy. And that's how it happened. Y'all became a dynasty. And it's true because in 2015, when the Warriors won, they lost in 2016. They won back to back because of KD, KD's help. And that's true. That is true. Now, when the Warriors do play with those four, Curry, Clay, Dre, and KD, right? Steph gets the most coverage. So everyone's going to be open. And these guys are elite. Clay Thompson, elite shooter, getting one on one looks. KD getting one on one looks. He's used to getting double teamed. Now, just look at that, man. That's how it became a dynasty that no one can stop, man. No one could could stop the Warriors at that time, man. The Warriors were already too much. And then on top of it, they get KD in the summer of 2016. Man, that was crazy times, man. Scary times for the league. The league did not want to see KD and the Warriors, man. And the Raptors got lucky. Because KD got hurt and Clay got hurt. And we just got to keep it real, man. We got to keep it a buck. And that's what we do on this channel, man. Isaiah Thomas is speaking facts. If you want to hate, just hate. It's cool. I love it all, man. I love the love and I love the hate. You got to have both, man. It balances you out. That's life. But yeah, man, we're going to end it on this note, man. That's all I got for y'all, man. I appreciate y'all and I love y'all, man. Let me know in the comments, is Isaiah Thomas speaking facts or is he capping? Let me know. Engage with your boy. Y'all follow my links in the description, man. Follow the link tree that'll take you to my Instagram, my Twitter, uh, my TikTok, everything, man. If you want to engage with your boy, man, I appreciate y'all and I love y'all, man. We've been grinding and we're going to stay grinding, man. Peace and love, family. Y'all be easy.